What's going on? Uh, this is Dan Corrigan and Corey Keen, owner of Keen Ramps. Uh, back again at the curb spot. And by back again, I mean we're still here. We haven't left. I don't think we're leaving anytime soon. This might be our new facility. Keen Ramps, Keen Ramps might go into the gutter because we would keep skating the curb. Uh, basically, we want to teach you five slappy tricks that if you have basic board control, if you can ride a skateboard, you can ollie, you can kick turn, hopefully 180. Maybe you're playing with kick flips. Uh, you have the board control to learn these slappy tricks. Slappy tricks are a very hot thing right now, but they also happen to be very low effort. It is not a coincidence that you see a lot of the older guys getting back into skateboarding already having all the slappy tricks. And it's because not a lot of effort needs to be put into it. It's mostly understanding the technique on how to bash up onto a curb, which we will reveal to, reveal to you in this video. So first things first, uh, what is a slappy? A slappy is a grind on a ledge or slide on a ledge that does not require an ollie. If you have a curb, much like this one, that has a little bit of a slant to it, um, it's gonna make it easier to bash up onto the curb, but that's not to say if your curb where you're at is vertical, it won't work. It will work, it's just a little harder. We also sell a ledge built for slappy grinds. It's literally built with teaching you how to slappy in mind. It is a five foot long, six inch tall slappy side curb, and on the other side is a straight edge, so you can skate it like a regular ledge as well. Uh, we have a video further back in our uh, archives of us skating the very first prototype. We had a blast on it. Uh, you would obviously have a blast on it too, but we are well aware that you might not be able to get such a ramp. So we're going to show you on an actual curb, not our obstacle. Um, so we lacquered this curb up the other day. That video is also in our archive on how to get a curb buttery. Now we're going to show you how to skate it. So first things first, what do you think the first slappy trick that you should learn is? I'm thinking no slide, what are you thinking? I would say, yeah, no slide or maybe... 50? No, probably no slide. Cause no, no slide. slide, I mean, you don't even have to know the fundamentals of a 50. Yeah. It's more, you could just kind of ride right into it, tic tac into it. Yeah. As long as it's nice and buttered, you're gonna slide. When you get out, you don't have to pop out. You don't have to go to regular fakie, whatever. You, you just, just come, come out. out. Yeah. So the goal is just figuring out how to get on find your center of balance, lean into it, get out. Yep. So yeah, we can start with no slide. Yeah, so I think for slappy no slide, we're gonna show you the most beginner way to do it, but for slappy 50-50s and crooked grinds and the other tricks that we're gonna be showing you, it's gonna be more about technique, not uh, necessarily the beginner entry level how to get into it. But I think if you have just started skateboarding, the slappy no slide is one that you're gonna want in your repertoire. So I'm gonna show you a couple quick secrets to that right now. Uh, first things first, you should be able to no stall. Have your foot already on the nose, just don't die. And you just go into it like that. Now what I would do is find a curb that you can just practice doing that on. You have it nice and lacquered up and then you just slowly adjust your angle. So if I'm riding straight on the first time I try it, next time I'll go like this. Now when you get into the nose slide, don't go like this, don't keep it sideways. You gotta lift it up and turn it flat against it. So your whole base plate is there. And as you keep adjusting that angle and making it sharper and sharper, continuing to lift it up to where your base plate is against the curb flat, it's slowly gonna wanna slide. It's slowly gonna wanna move for you. Uh, and you can just keep building that up with more speed and more angle and more speed. And I'm not gonna show you how to do it over and over again, because what I just said completely explains it. You're literally just gonna add more of an angle as you go further up. And it, you're, what's cool about this trick is you can sort of babysit your fears. You can just go slower and get like a little scoot and then you can add a little bit more scoot. How about, Corey, you do a real slappy no slide for us. How's that? One on, uh, right there? Yeah, okay. Middle. So yeah, the first one I'm gonna do sort of more at an angle and the next one I'll try to ride more parallel. Okay. Wow, that slid really good. Super buttery. Yeah, and he wasn't even uh, that parallel. Now the more parallel you get with this trick, the faster you're gonna slide. So this time he's gonna be even closer yeah, to the curve. Because when you're parallel, you're gonna kind of go in and then you're gonna be like just per perfectly perpendicular and really leaning into it. Yeah, so that means all of your force at an angle is go kind of going this way. When you're sideways, all your force is going this way, hence you're gonna slide further. Nice. And with this trick, you can fall to fakie, you can kick turn to regular, it really doesn't matter. It's just a matter of getting a feel for the slide and having a good time. That's what this trick is all about. So, uh, Corey, you mind roasting a nose slide for me? Roasting one? Yeah. Feels so good. Impossible. What? 
Sometimes in math, there's two different equations to get to the same answer, and the same thing is with skateboarding. And there is two ways to get into a slappy back to the 50. Yes, I've been watching a lot of number files. Uh, so basically, the way I learned to slappy 50-50 is a very, very aggressive kick turn where you click, you get your back truck on, you set your front truck one second, and then you glide. But that is actually not the most common way. I'm gonna actually teach you the way I do it, and then I'm gonna teach you the way that everyone else does it. So for the way that I do it, it literally is an aggressive kick turn. So if you can go like this, and just get your back truck on, you can set your front truck anywhere you want. So when I roll up to it, I put a ton of pressure on my back foot. Doing this sort of scoopy back 180 motion where my foot's kind of in this pocket. And as you can tell, if my foot's over here, that's gonna wanna bring this heel side wheel up. And that heel side wheel up is gonna be what rides up. You feel that click, you adjust your weight, you set it down. Just as my body weight was right there, that is exactly how it works. Toe side, heel up, click, set it down. And then you're in the 50-50. Doesn't matter if you're in the 50-50 like this, like this. Well, hopefully not like that. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're in the 50-50 like this, cross lock, Ohio style. I Ohio. Care, I don't care how you're in it. As long as you're grinding, then you can come out. Uh, and to get out of the 50-50, if you can kick turn off a curb, if you can get, be on the curb and go like this, get out. So I'll do one with the regular, my style, and then I'll show you the other way to do it. Now this way is a lot more aggressive. It's uh, honestly, I'm not gonna break your arm by walking around you that way. I'm gonna walk around you this <laughs> Thank way. you. Uh, it's less finesseful. It's more like I'm barging it. And uh, in my opinion, it's kind of more fun than the other way. The other way is more technique. This one is more, I don't know, like I'm gonna run into the curb and get on top of it and keep my momentum forward. So the sound is nice. Yeah. The feeling is nice. It is, but most likely it's gonna be less consistent for most people. The other technique, the more common technique, the John Benton making fun of me for not doing it this way technique is you roll up like you're gonna almost do like a slappy crook. You don't lift up and get your back truck on first. This way you get your front truck on first. So it's a lift up, your wheel's gonna roll up, your pressure is on your toe first. But the second that you get on top of the ledge with that toe, then you go heel and that heel's gonna bring your back truck on. Same thing, I don't care how you get into it, as long as you can get out of it. Ideally you wanna be toe side or cross lock but it's a fitty fitty, it's a curb, it's pretty forgiving. However you get into it, you get into it. So once again, rolling up, your weight is gonna be on your toes. It's baby lift up, feel that click, adjust to your heel, back truck on, succeed. Now I know for succeed. a fact, I know for a fact I'm not gonna land this first try. It's kind of like a really, really fast duck walk. Yeah, it's like, yeah, so what he's saying by duck walk is when you go like this, except for you're not, lifting up and setting your truck on. You're letting the curvature of your nose drag up the corner and notice how the corner of this thing will throw my truck up there. See that? I'm not actually lifting it. Look, I'll, I'll keep my hands up here. It wants to throw it on there. And you're using that to your advantage. So uh, here we go. Here's gonna be take probably 30 of me trying to do <laughs> uh, slabby 50-50 the way that everyone else does them. Now when I slabby 50-50 a ledge, this is how I do it on taller stuff. But for whatever reason on curbs, they don't really work for me. That was actually a pretty good first try. All right, right here. I know I can do this, dude. Oh, God. Yeah, that was great. Is this the way that you do it? Uh, I don't, no. I do them your way. I, I, I bash them. There it is. Now, see, it looks more smoother than more cooler. Yeah. Uh, and I'll honestly, it probably looks a little cooler. And you know, that felt pretty cool but it's not the way that I prefer to do it. So I'm gonna do one more like that. Another thing I'll say, I've noticed that guys that know how to do that style really well, they can hold them very long. Yeah. Cause you kind of just, your feet are in a really nice placement and like your knees are bent and you're not like jolted from that bash. Yeah, that bash really throws your balance off. Whereas you kind of like do the technique way into it. You can kind of put your cross like where you want it. So we'll do one more and then we're gonna fill both of them to slow down. Yep. Okay, I think I learned how to do that. That was it. I think I got it down. Yeah, that was solid. Right, so a little, little slow-mo. Slow yeah.
So I feel like I do have a strength in backside slabby 50-50s, but mostly on ledges, not on curbs. But Corey right here definitely has a strength in frontside 50-50s. In fact, he prefers slappy front 50-50s over back 50-50s. I'm just starting to get really comfortable with them, but I'm gonna leave the professional maneuvers to the professional. Thank you, thank you. Uh, show us a little bit about how you go about this trick before you so do one. When I think about front 50-50s, kind of like what we talked about with the backside, that very quick, subtle technique duck walk kind of thing, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. I'm kind of going up, and I'm leaning away. Heel side. So I'm heel side away ever so slightly. Almost like you're trying to coconut wheelie with your feet still on it, yep. like pre yeah, yeah. all. I'm kind of like that. So I'm leaning away. I let this click on. As soon as I feel that truck kind of engage, I'm like, all right, now I can put the back one on. And so really quick, it's just here, there, this is getting on there, and then I'm just chilling. I'm just in like a perfect front side 50. Now, I will say this. Uh, one of the problems that I have a lot is when I get on, I overshoot my back truck a lot, and my back truck will actually end up in a little bit of a low C grind thing. And so what helped me focus on that or fix that problem is now when I go up, I think about getting this inside wheel right here, my heel side wheel, to wedge against it all the way. Like I really try to lock that in. Otherwise, it'll slip right off and end up up here. So really focusing on your pinch points before you get into it might help you be more consistent with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. I also think of uh, my front, like I'm, I'm very front heavy. Very right? much front heavy, like yes. The, the back is just kind of like, my back foot's just rotating and helping me get on, but it's, yeah. it's light and it's loose. And then once I'm on, then I might do a little like, a little foot wiggle adjustment, get my foot back to the tail. And you turn it to a 50-50, like a yeah. ollie into it. And I also ride very wide stanced on this one. Yeah, yeah, like same. When I skate like a mini ramp or something, you know, I'm in my traditional stance. When I'm skating a front slappy, like like a curb, I'm very wide. I'm like that. So yeah, here, I'll do a couple. Okay. All day. Let's do it on the buttery one. Yeah, let's do, uh, let's do it on the new curve that we waxed up. Why not? Because you're going to grind like a thousand feet. So nice. God, I love that curve. It's <laughs> so good. We're probably going to have to stop filming and skate this thing for another hour. But uh, yeah, let's get one more. Let me get uh, behind you so you can see how it is. Back truck gets on second. It is a front truck to back truck maneuver. But maybe uh, if I'm close up, you can kind of tell where his pressure is on his board. Maybe that'll help. So let's get that.